Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Prince and Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, kind of an interesting day in the market yesterday. Um, the Bears did what they needed to do from an overall perspective. They broke through that 1450 uh, level. They did lows down at 1446. Now the Bulls, the Bulls are not going to just take their ball and go home. Not after coming from you know 1382 quarter, uh, uh, sorry 1340 quarter. Uh, all the way up to here, uh, you know, you don't you don't do 1340 quarter to 1463 and then you know roll over in a day. And I know for people that are short, there's always a tendency to say, okay, I've put my short on. Now it's time for the market to go down, and I want it to be wily e. coyote off a cliff. I want to do 100 handles in two days, and that's what I want. The problem is the market doesn't care. Okay, and the market is going to do what it does, and it's going to do it on its own time frame. The key for me yesterday was the fact that we made new lows, and so far the key is that while we tested yesterday's high at 1457, we've yet to break it. Now, do we make do do we break through 57 on the open? I think we probably do. I think we probably go up and see 5758. The question is whether or not the bulls can convert 58 and turn it into uh, something up over this 1460 level. Okay, if they do that, if they do that, I think a break above 1460 is going to give us highs above 1463. We're going to have to come back up into the upper Bollinger Band again. Okay, um, and what that's going to have me doing with respect to the swing short I have going on is that will have me adding back at higher levels. I, I was taking profits yesterday down below 1450. Um, I added a little bit back uh, last night uh, and I'll, I will continue to add back as we go higher just basically trading around a core uh, a short position and that you know that's what you need to do you you know you keep half of it on all the time and you add and, and, and take off that other half and that's how um, that's how you stay sane when the market isn't working on your personal time frame okay now if 1457 holds up, the bears need to go back down and break through 46. They need to continue to make lows. Uh, below 46, you're looking at 1443 and 1438. If we get down into 1438, that gets down into this gap area. If we enter the gap, we will fill the gap. I don't know if it'll happen really, really fast, but you know, we may bounce. I would, I would expect us to bounce when we get to the bottom of the gap zone, uh, down at 38. I would expect it to be a pretty good bounce, and I would expect the bounce probably to head back up to around 1446. It's going to be a significant bounce, kind of like what we saw off the 46s yesterday. So, uh, but once we enter that gap zone, it's very difficult to see that gap not filling, and that would be with a print, you know, down 1426 area. So, those are just some things I'm looking at. We're really in no man's land. We were in no man's land yesterday when when I taped this webcast yesterday morning. We were trading 1454 half. We are trading 1454, so it is a it is a real battle up here. Uh, both sides still have an opportunity to win the day, and you know just keep in mind that you know the the bulls want to get over 60 to get up to new highs up to the upper band. The bears want to get back below 46 so they can go do 38. And trading at 1454, we're kind of in the middle of that range. So if you're flat, stay flat and uh, see how the day plays out. Okay, uh, pivot wise. You've got um, you got the daily down at 1451 half, the three day above it at 1453 half. The fact that the three day has been above the daily for two days now is also an indication that we could potentially be rolling over. You've got double pivots down at 1432 quarter. That's pretty far down, uh, and the 45 day is at 1418.25. So, you know, as far as the um, 45 day pivot goes. We are, you know, we're not, we're not 40 handles. We're, we're 30 some handles above the 45 day, and you just continue to see a little bit of a bid. You know, you can call it overbought, but over overbought markets tend to stay overbought. So I can make equal cases for the bulls and the bears at this point. The one thing that that has me leaning toward the bearish side and keeping my short on is that we are, you know, we've gone done this move up at the Bollinger Bands, and you continue to see new lows being made now for two consecutive days and there's just a great big gap on the chart and the gap may not fill within your time frame I mean everybody everybody short wanted the gap filled yesterday 
but that's not how the market works. So you just have to kind of keep your eye on the ball, keep trading around that core short, add to it slowly, and and you know keep your position size under control so that you don't get into a situation where you're living and dying with every tick. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader from Mr. Topstep. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.